Hello and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today I'm going to show you another book from the Thinking Tree that I absolutely love. It's the Seven Subject Science Portfolio. Um, it's centered around Minecraft and the real world. So you're going to be hitting all your different various subjects in science through this book. It starts off with the seven branches of science and it starts off with botany dealing with the plants and then it deals with chemistry the world of elements geology dealing with rocks and minerals meteorology um weather and atmosphere physics the world of matter and energy technology the world of inventions and design and also zoology the study of animals as with any thinking tree book is um geared towards using your library books or personal books whichever one you choose i personally use books that i have in my home but you could choose four books that's related to that specific subject that you're working on so if you're working on botany you will go and find or choose four books that centers around botany and then you will also be looking for two documentaries about each specific subject. You ask your teacher how many pages you complete each day, and then you can build something in your Minecraft world based on your scientific subject. And as always, you um, use gel pens and color pencils to complete the activities that require coloring. What I absolutely love about the PDF version, because I have the PDF version, um, I had to print this off myself. What I love about it is that it's color. And so here you have the scientists. And then you have a coloring sheet. This first starts out with um, about botany. And it says that botany is a scientific study of, of plants. So you will pick your four books. You will put them there. You will have reading time. So you will use that those four books to write different things about what you learn. Then on this page, you will do uh, some your copy work and also some drawing, illustrating whatever you learn. Here, you would do your botany and draw a plant cell, and then you will try to redesign it in, in your Minecraft world, and you can write notes about it as well. Here, it talks about botany, the world of plants, and then it breaks it down into this beautiful chart, and then you can write your notes on it. On this page... You go to your botany documentary because you know it instructs you to get two documentaries. And then you write your notes there. And then they have a cool sheet where, where it talks about what I learned. And you can write the topic here, whatever you're talking about, and you write what you learned. And then you can draw or draw a diagram or illustration of whatever that you learned. Of course, it has the date in the top um, right-hand corner so you can keep your records. And then here it has your science experiments and observations. So you can look online or you can use your science books to, to do further research. And then it has making your own comment strip dealing with Minecraft, focus on the subject of botany. And then here's the part where you do your vocabulary with the book. And then you have different things that you can write about dealing with that specific subject. And then you can design. This is the part where you're designing your Minecraft world centered around botany. And this is just, I'm just going to go through and show you some pages because as you go through the subjects, it's pretty much the same but i want to talk about this page the science and geography i just absolutely love this because you're not only getting science thinking tree always has a unique way of incorporating more than one subject within a book even though it's not geared towards that specific book like this is geared towards science but look here you, you're going to be getting your geography as well so you're going to do that and then you do a biography you listen, to, you go and you listen to something about botany. Of course, you're not going to do all these pages in one day, but you can, it's up to the parent or if your child is independent, it's up to you all to decide how far you want to go into the botany or how many pages you want your child to do in that one day time frame. Now, let me show you the um, back show you some of the color pages about occupations that's this is another cool part about it it has a part about occupations so you're instructed to watch a video or read a book about whatever you think this occupation is and then you write notes on it 
and they even have a section on the meteorologist. It's just, it's just a really, really good book. It has a place for you to observe the picture and then write about that specific job. So it's really, really good. So you're getting so much, and you can incorporate this with your language arts, incorporate it with your geography, of course your science, I mean, the list just goes on and on and on on what you can do with this awesome book. Of course, she has um, drawing, too, as well. Beautiful pictures. It's just a wonderful, well-made book, and I really like it. And I feel like once we get ready to go into this, the kids are going to thoroughly enjoy this book. And the pictures are just so gorgeous on the PDF. And here is the part that's focused on... Um, zoology dealing with animals just wanted to show you just a little bit of the entire book so it's really really nice and again this is the pdf version but you can get a copy a book a hard copy rather but mine is pdf i had to print this myself but I real I am really happy about this. So I just want to give you a little sneak peek inside of this wonderful Minecraft Seven Subject Science portfolio. And also I want to show you one of the books that I'm gonna personally be using to support this curriculum will be the Us Born Illustrated Dictionary of Science because it hits the um, chemistry, biology, and physics i also have a book on botany and i also have a book on um careers that i'm going to use with this as well so as you can see it has quite a bit of information and i just love us born anyway and you can use this and do the diagrams and the representations and various things that you can do with this to incorporate with that thinking tree seven subject portfolio for science so again this is tina from lakeshore academy showing you the inside of the seven subject science portfolio have a good day bye